Hey sweet babies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to support my channel, you can always use the links down in the description box to shop or you can click the thanks button down below. Let's get into some new fragrances that have been added to my collection. I know you guys have been seeing these all over YouTube and Instagram and probably TikTok and all of that. And first of all, it was the bottles. It was the bottles that drew us all in. Like, what is that the bottles are gorgeous now i was just randomly scrolling on youtube watching youtube fragrance content like i always do and i saw this man i don't know his name but i subscribe to his channel i watch his videos love his reviews but i saw him holding one of the bottles and he is i don't know what his ethnicity is but he has nice olive skin dark hair a full dark beard and icy blue eyes girl he is fine i was like um what is that bottle and who are you okay okay and i've been subscribed to him ever since love his reviews i'll link his channel down below first of all we're talking about the three fragrances from steven stefan stefan on beer lucas which is God of Fire, Venom Incarnate, and Sand Dance. So I have all three fragrances here, and this is what the sleeves of the box looks like. So this one is God of Fire, this one is Venom Incarnate, and this one is Sand Dance. So the colors on the box correspond to the color of each bottle. So this is what the actual box looks like. It's just a plain white box, and then the fragrance is inside. First of all, the bottles are gorgeous. Like, look at that bottle. It's just so freaking pretty. This color is what caught my eye. And that man had these eyes this color. And I was just like, wow. Like, these bottles are stunning. The camera isn't even giving it justice at all because the boxes are so pretty. It looks like it has jewels in the eyes and they're just gorgeous. So this one is God of Fire and this one is the super popular one out of the bunch. I had to wait for like two or three weeks to get mine because they sold out. They sold out of this and girl. So it says that the main accords are fruity, sweet, woody, warm, spicy, tropical, aromatic, fresh, citrus, all of those good things. So let's go ahead and spray her. And I have worn all of these, but you know, just acting like I have it. So I'm gonna just spray this one on my hand right here and let that kind of dry down. So the notes are mango, red berries, ginger, lemon, woody notes, coumarin, jasmine, cipro oil, amber, oud, and musk. This is popular for good reason because it is unique. It's very different. I don't have anything in my collection that smells like this. I can say that. The mango is definitely prominent. It's sweet, but also fresh. It's not like super sickingly sweet. It's just like a fresh, like perfectly ripened mango. And that's like at the top. And you do get some ginger as well. As it dries down, I get more lemon and whatever that cipro oil is because it smells kind of piney a little bit. And the more it dries down, I do get some musk. So I've heard people compare this to Baccarat. They say, oh, it reminds me of Baccarat. Like, let it go, y'all. Like, Baccarat has had her moment and she is that girl. She's always going to be that girl. But this smells absolutely nothing like Baccarat. Like, it just does not. This is a, a whole different fragrance. Like, I don't even see where you guys are getting that. She's light, she's airy, but she's she's fruity. And like I said, citrusy, kind of like piney a little bit, but nothing like Baccarat. I really do like this. I like the projection of it. It has nice projection and it has nice longevity. And the sweetness, even though it has that mango in it, it is still kind of unisex. Like I don't feel like it's more feminine or masculine. I feel like anybody could wear this because of that sweet citrusy but piney type of smell the more it dries down i get a little more of the woodiness and the musk and i do really like this scent it's definitely a perfect like spring summer type scent so i'm glad i have it even though i'm probably not gonna wear it much before the cold weather comes because it's about to be cold but definitely a nice spring summer scent for sure it's not my favorite out the bunch, but I'm stuck between this one and another one as number two because they ain't number one, but this does smell really good. So now we're going to move on to Venom and Carnot. So that is this one. It's the beautiful red bottle. 
The main of course for this one is fruity, sweet, woody, leather, and vanilla. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this one on this arm. The notes for this are strawberry, wild strawberry, caramel, blackberry, raspberry, virgin cedar, cinnamon, Russian leather, patchouli, tonka bean, and vanilla. Yeah, this one is definitely unisex too. Like even though it has that strawberry in it, the men should not be scared of this one because the strawberry is there, but it's not super fruity. And it does have like two types of strawberry, a wild strawberry and a regular strawberry and a raspberry, blackberries, it's got all the berries, but it's not overly sweet. It's definitely sweet, but not overly sweet. That leather is blended so good in here. Like this is blended really well. This is another really good, I think spring, summer type of vibe. But I feel like this one you can transition into fall too because of that leathery note in there. Yeah, I think that cinnamon and that leather kind of gives it that vibe where you can transition this into fall. Like you can wear this like fall, um, September, maybe like October, and then you wanna go ahead and put her away. Mm, they so good, but like in their own right. So yeah, these are both tied for number two. I can't, I can't really say which one I like better because I like both of these. Okay, y'all, last but certainly not least is my favorite, which is Sand Dance. This one, Sand Dance is woody, warm, spicy, amber, cacao, powdery, whiskey, vanilla, balsamic, aromatic, and sweet. So this one is my absolute favorite. I'm a gourmand lover, even though like I love all types of scents, but I am I like gourmands too. And this one definitely gives me the gourmand feel and the gourmand vibes. I'm gonna spray this one on my arm. Now the top notes for this are whiskey, coriander, and mandarin orange, middle notes cacao, sandalwood, cashmere, and the base notes are benzoin, striax, tonka bean, cedar, and patchouli. This one is my absolute favorite. If you like Black Phantom, you would like this one. They give me the same vibe. They give me the same vibe. They're like sisters or cousins or something. They definitely remind me of each other. They're not dupes or exactly the same, but they if you like Black Phantom, I feel like you're gonna like this one too. Oh, it's chocolatey. It's definitely got that whiskey, that spice, sweetness. The patchouli in here is like a a sweet chocolatey type of patchouli it's not dirty or earthy or anything like that it's smooth it's creamy i don't really get the mandarin orange it's it's so so light in here that i really don't get it oh this just gives me chocolate creamy spicy whiskey i smell the whiskey this one is so, so good. So like I said, if you like Black Phantom, you would like this one too. So even though I spend like the most time on God of Fire because that's everybody's favorite, that's actually not my favorite. Sand Dance is definitely my favorite. It's really tough to differentiate which one I like the best between the other two. But if I had to rank them in the order that I like them, Sand Dance would be number one. Venom Incarnate would be number two for me, and then God of Fire would be number three. They are all beautiful fragrances and special, and they don't smell like anything else in my collection, so I am so glad to have all of them. Even though this does remind me of Black Phantom, but Black Phantom is a little more, I don't know, look, it's got a little more to it, a little, not a little more to it, but I think it's like more chocolatier or coffeeier or something like that they're not the same so i'm glad that i have this because they're not the same they just give you the same vibe so i'm glad i have all three of these because they are unique to my collection so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and can decide which ones that you guys want to add to your collection thank you so much for watching this video please like comment share and of course subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one bye